In this chapter of data analysis and statistics, we will be talking about analyzing decisions, whether to make decision precisely or not. So in experiments, when you do experiments with numerical outcomes, the expected value or EV is the weighted average of the numerical outcomes of probability experiment. Now, to find the expected value of an event, you multiply each possible outcome of the event by the likelihood of that outcome. So the formula for that would be number of ways event can occur divided by total number of outcomes. So P of A plus P of B plus P of C plus P of D would be equal to 1, which is 100%. So here in this example, we'll be finding the expected value or EV. Keeping this in mind, let's move on. What is the expected value of a six-sided number cube with sides labeled 1 through 6? So, there's six-sided number cube and it's rolls. What is the probability of getting 1? Well, probability of getting 1 would be 1 over 6, probability of 2 would be 1 over 6, and 3 would be 1 over 6. 4, 5, 6, probability of them would be e equal to 1 over 6 as well. Knowing this in, uh, keeping this in mind, we can say 1 times 1 over 6 plus 2 times 1 over 6 plus 3 times 1 over 6 plus 4 times 1 over 6 plus 5 times 1 over 6 plus 6 times 1 over 6 in which we get the expected value to be equal to 3.5. Moving on to our next question, what is the expected value of the sum of rolling 2 and 6 sided number cube with side table 1 through 6? Now this is you might think it's similar, yet it's related to each other. So we can say, label that, let EV of X re represent the expected value of first number of cube and EV of Y, second number of cube. Add them up. Now since both numbers cube are labeled in the same way, that is 1 through 6, are always the same, we use that the information that we got from the first answer. Okay? That is, we got the answer, which would so be equal to them up, and you get your expected so value. So, EV of X seven. would be 3, 4, and 5. We can and use, of y would we be can three, use four, five. expected value in real world situation. That is, we can use this to make decisions in business, insurance setting, traffic, games, and other situation. For example, if two people want to game and the game early, they can use the expected value to verify who has the most likely chance to win the game. So knowing this, let's go ahead and move on to our, move on to our first question. That is, Salik has two choices of route when he goes to the school. Route A always takes 15 minutes, route B takes 12 minutes unless there is a traffic jam. In which case, the route will take 20 minutes. If the chances of traffic is 15%, which route should he take? To solve this, we need, we need to find compare the expected value for each route. So the for route A, which takes 15 minutes, you do 1 times 15, in which you get 15 minutes for expected value. You do the same with root B. Now you get 13.2 minutes. Now since the expected value of root B is lower than uh, estimated value of root A, Salik should take root B. 